It's been over a decade since the oil drilling rig Deepwater Horizon burst into flames and sank in the Gulf of Mexico. For more than three months, 134 million gallons of oil flowed freely into the sea before engineers were finally able to cap the well. The spill polluted 1,300 miles of coastline across five states and killed thousands of marine mammals, shorebirds, and sea turtles. It remains the largest marine oil spill of all time and one of the greatest environmental disasters in U.S. history. But during the past 10 years, Scientists have been studying the fate and ecological impact of the oil spill and, in doing so, have made significant scientific discoveries beyond the spill itself. During one such study, scientists were interested in learning how far ocean currents could spread oil across the surface of the Gulf of Mexico. Traditional ocean drifters used to measure the direction and flow of the sea's currents were large, expensive, and made of plastic. So, scientists developed a smaller, less bulky drifter, which could slowly biodegrade into the ocean over time, if they were ever lost. During a three-month period, researchers deployed 1,000 of these state-of-the-art drifters into the Gulf, the largest ocean drifter experiment ever undertaken by scientists. The drifters were not only successful in collecting GPS data on how currents could move oil through the Gulf, they were also used to provide new insights into algal blooms and weather, including hurricanes, and have enabled the Coast Guard to improve its search and rescue missions. Some oil from the Deepwater Horizon spill was discovered in the Gulf of Mexico's midwater prompting an extensive study of this little understood layer in the ocean. Using large nets, researchers were able to collect sea life at depths up to 4,900 feet. Approximately 1,200 species were identified, some of which had never been observed in the region before. Among those species were the humpback anglerfish, the snaggletooth dragonfish, and the vampire squid. Scientists learned that the Gulf of Mexico is a far more diverse place than previously imagined, rivaled by few other marine areas in the world. Although the spill occurred 40 miles offshore, oil also contaminated coastal ecosystems. After the spill, seaside sparrows continued to prey on insects and crustaceans covered in oil. As a result, carbon from the oil built up inside the sparrows. Researchers discovered their genes had a natural defense system, which could be activated to resist the harmful effects of the oil, revealing how some species managed to survive with pollutants in their environment. As tragic as the Deepwater Horizon spill was for the Gulf of Mexico, these unintended discoveries have given scientists new insight and tools to better understand and protect a natural world increasingly impacted by human activity.